Hey guys, Alfred here from Maximum PCs. Today we'll be having a look at the FSB Raider 650 watt and 550 watt power supplies. Let's take a look at the 650 watt model first. We see on the back here specifications on cable length as well as the number of connectors. You can see that all the cables are at least 500 millimeters long, which will be plenty in most cases. The 4 plus 4 pin connector is 600 millimeters long, which is good to see as this is, tends to be way up in the top left corner of the motherboard. The FSP Raider 650 watt comes with one 24 pin connector, one 4 plus 4 pin EPS 12 volt connector, two 6 plus 2 pin PCIe connectors for your graphics cards, four SATA power connectors staggered on one cable, and finally the last cable featuring two SATA power three Molex and a floppy drive connector. Moving on to the power specifications, we have 25 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, 25 amps on the 5 volt rail, and a generous 50 amps on the single 12 volt rail, 0 0.3 amps on the minus 12 volt rail, and 3 amps on the 5 volt standby rail. It's great to see almost all of the power from this PSU, a rated maximum output of 600 watts comes from the 12 volt rail meaning more power for your hungry hungry graphics cards. Moving on to the features, FSP calls this their SATA array cable which has 50 millimeters between the four SATA power connectors. So that means cable management is easier in the hard drive bays, optimizing airflow and reducing clutter. I think this is a great feature and more power supplies should have this. We'll have a look at this closer in just a bit. Next is FSP's MIA-IC, which stands for Multiple Intelligence Ability Chipset. It has its own patented design for performance and protection. I think this is just a fancy way of F FSP saying that PSU has over temperature, current and voltage protection. One thing I do love about this is that it also shows some information about the inbuilt quiet fan control. At 20% load we get less than 18 decibels. 50% load, less than 19 decibels, and at maximum load the fan will be less than 25 decibels. This feature is fantastic news as I absolutely hate fan noise, and it's great to know that when you're gaming you won't be hearing your power supply fan ramping up to jet turbine levels. It's also an indicator that this power supply is very efficient and does not generate a lot of heat. Now let's see what you get in the box. A user's manual, warranty card, a nice thick power cable, screws for installation, and the actual power supply itself. Let's have a look at the actual connectors. Uh, one 24 pin connector, one 4 plus 4 pin EPS 12 volt connector, the two 6 plus 2 pin PCI connectors for graphics cards, four SATA power connectors staggered on one cable, and finally the Molex SATA and floppy cable. It is a shame that FSP did not sleeve all of the cables, but it wouldn't be too difficult to do yourself as they leave ample room in the area where the cables go into the power supply itself for you to tuck the sleeving in. Now let's have a look at the power supply itself you get the 120 millimeter quiet fan I mentioned before. At the back we have basic honeycomb venting design with the power port and the switch. Note there's no voltage regulator switch meaning this power supply has active PFC or power factor correction. This allows for high efficiency and for full range of input AC mains voltages. On the sides we see a they have a nice FSP logo stamped into the middle and it stays upright regardless of which way you mount the power supply. I quite like the matte black paint finish they have used on the outside which has a quality powder coat feel to it. Both the 650 watt and 550 watt models have the same number of connectors and cable length so we'll just compare the power specification labels they have on them. The 550 watt has 24 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, 22 amps on the 5 volt rail, and 42 amps on the plus 12 volt rail. The minus 12 volt rail and 5 volt standby rails have the same power ratings. 
These are both 80 plus bronze certified, meaning that you'll get at least 82% efficiency regardless of load. They both feature a single 12 volt rail design, which is better in my opinion, as multiple rail PSUs you may overload one rail and cause system instability or the PSU may shut down entirely. Both PSUs have two 6 plus 2 pin PCI connectors which is enough for most configurations nowadays and even for some dual card installations. A big plus on the quiet fans they feature and the longer 8 pin EPS 12 volt cable for easier routing. All of these great features are available on both PSUs at very good price points. The only letdown was the seemingly unfinished cable sleeving, but this isn't too much of a concern as I plan on doing it myself anyway. Overall, if I had to rate these power supplies, I'd give them a 9 out of 10. So that wraps up my overview on the FSP Raider power supplies. I hope you enjoyed this video review. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, remember to visit www.maximumpcs.com.au where we use these excellent products in our high performance systems.